what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and this is gonna be exciting because today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to flash the Xiaomi's HyperOS latest build on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and this is a port by the way the version is 1.0.14 and this is of course based on Android 14 and here this is the 7th November 2023 build and here you can see all the things which are mentioned also a quick setting panel let me show you quickly how dope it looks everywhere the animations and stuff just comes up really really fast and it's very snappy experience overall and you can switch to the like notification panel and the quick setting panel just like this and turning on flashlight and stuff it does this kind of animation this is the my device section this is how it looks like but let me actually do one thing let's just show you how to flash this rom so i'll just reboot the device to the TWRP recovery. By the way, you will need a QL TWRP recovery to actually flash this particular ROM. Or you can say, as of right now, for any Android 14 ROM, you can use the QL TWRP recovery. It will also work for Android 13 ROMs as well, but you can use it also for Android 14. And it supports the Android 14 decryption. So you can flash the TWRP recovery by fast boot flashing, or even if you have Orange Fox recovery, you can just flash this TWRP image. Just flash as recovery while flashing the image with Orange Fox recovery. And here as you can see i just formatted the data and now i'll just reboot the recovery the steps are a little bit hectic when compared to normal flashing but yeah let me show you now i'll just select the micro sd card because that's where i have all the files so i just went into my download location and here is the hyper OS. the file size is about 3.4 gb but yeah that's fine because it's miui so yeah that's okay now here do not select the reboot after installation because it will not reboot properly if you do that so just swipe to confirm flash and wait for the time being now go home and go to wipe now make sure you do that advanced wipe you can also do that from the like flashing page but yeah i do like this and i'll just select the dalvik and cache and I'll just swipe to confirm wipe. Once that's done, I'll just go home and go to wipe again and then we need to format data again. And once this format data is completed, we go to reboot and then reboot the recovery once again. And here as well, we have to go into wipe again and then format data one more time. This is the last time and after this formatting, we'll just reboot to system. If this process is a little bit confusing, I'll just list this process in a text form so you can see that from here. And as you can see, after I rebooted to system, we get this Xiaomi's hyper OS boot animation or boot logo, you can say. This is how it looks like looks very beautiful on the redmi note 10 pro i have to say and finally after waiting for a couple of minutes it has finally booted and it will of course ask you for the me account and stuff so if you had find device on, on me why you have to enter your me account password and all and of course after entering those credentials you will be able to set up the rom now i have already done that in the my device section on top we have this xiaomi's hyper waste written and if you go into the detailed info and specs this is how it looks like we have the OS version right here and the Android version shows up right here. And if you keep tapping on it, just this Android 14 kind of logo comes up. And if you tap and hold, it does this kind of shake. It doesn't do that spaceship kind of thing. It just does the shaking of the Android 14 logo. Here, if you scroll down, we have the model number, the baseband version, the kernel version, and we have the hardware version and stuff like that. And by the way, just notice the always on display, how beautiful it looks. Yes, in the lock screen, the black screen sometimes comes up, but yeah, otherwise just notice how beautiful it looks. It's a port. It should not be that much stable, but yeah, it's already pretty stable and it looks so beautiful, the clock and stuff. And you can change the clock from right here, I guess. Yep, I have to unlock. And then as you can see in the lock screen, we have this kind of normal lock screen. And if you just swipe down, you will get the classic option. Just notice the animations, how smooth they are everywhere. If I just do this, just notice the animations over here. The clocks look so much beautiful and here as well just notice how good these clocks actually look like and you can use these kind of clocks if you want so yeah the xiaomi's hyper OS definitely has a really really new look and it looks so much beautiful i have to say it's a much much better experience and all over the ui the animations have improved much more the fingerprint scanner yep that is working fine and it is very very fast experience overall just notice how fast it unlocks
Now, if you guys want to see a detailed review of this particular ROM that I will be using on the Redmi Note 10 Pro, do stay tuned for that and do subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now. Thank you.